Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Thorns Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Today is actually National Bison Day, and uh, I don't know how, I didn't even realize that until this morning. And uh, today we're working our bison. It's our fall 2021 vaccination. So, we got the Big Joe herd right here, the biggest herd. I think uh, we've got 10 in this herd here, and then we've got six babies. So, we are getting ready to work these bison here. So it's gonna be an eventful day. This one should go by a lot faster. Um, and the only reason I say that is we're not pulling hair this time and uh, we're not doing preg checks. Doc Parsons, my, my vet, my bison guy, uh, couldn't be here today. He's traveling and that's okay. We've, we've done this without him before. So uh, we're gonna work the bison. And uh, Kevin, my stepdad, he's, uh, he's had a lot of work with large animals, vaccinations and what. So Kevin will be doing the vaccinations and I'll be kind of doing a little bit of the operating stuff. So hope you guys are excited for another <laughs> show. But um, uh, let's get ready to get on it. All right, you guys ready? Let's not forget to weigh Dunbar. <laughs> Fourteen ten.
So Dunbar, 1410. Kevin said he lost a couple hundred pounds. Yeah. So what's what's, what's the weight season. loss? Yeah, uh, well, we've skipped some years. We didn't get his weight in the spring, so we don't know how much he actually lost. But last time we weighed him, he was like 1400, I think, right at it. But since we missed him in the spring, we don't know how much he lost. But they lose it through a breeding season. Those bulls working. So you're saying they're kind of like, like a guy in college living on ramen and those young years of your life you just go wild and crazy <laughs> and you don't think by. about food and you know it's just barely surviving yes Pull, pull, pull. Oh, oh. Oh man. 
man. I think you put it in upside down. Sorry, buddy. So the right one or the left? This. Yeah, that, so that's that's find right. the up there in between. Okay, don't get it on her vein. You can feel it. You See those two main veins? Now when you do it, you have to use both hands. Okay, you got her. That was my first time ever tagging a... Alright, that gate, we gotta get that gate. Right. Oh, there's a fence there, but I don't care! Spicing <laughs> <laughs>
Kevin. Hey, Brandon. <laughs> what was the view like up there? <laughs> Rewarding. <laughs> Rewarding. Yeah. There you go, bud. Oh, and finally take a breather. Uh, that was kind of a long morning, a little longer than we wanted, but we got the bison worked. Um, and uh, man, we got Big Joe worked. It didn't take us an hour and a half this time to work Big Joe, but we got him worked. Um, we got the entire herd worked. Everything went pretty good. Um, the tub worked, um, but the big area which I was worried about leading up to the tub um, we're gonna have to do some work there. It needs to be a lot smaller. It needs to be basically cut in half so we can chop chop the groups up as they transition into the tub. So I feel like I'm drained and I only worked, you know, 27 bison. So, <laughs> um, but anyways, I just, uh, we'll keep you updated on everything. Um, Flo did get gored actually by Dunbar. It may surprise you, but Dunbar goes, got kind of hyped up again and we, we uh he normally doesn't but he did this time and we got him weighed which is a good thing but he did end up getting a tight spot with Flo and and actually gorder but where he gorder was um um kind of at her shoulder um right into her shoulder he got really close to uh getting a, a bad spot where she could have been really damaged so kevin put some uh put some ointment on it got her taken care of and she's out here but they're uh they're laying down right now and, and resting and, and taking it easy. And this is where they're very distant from us, um, which I don't blame them. So they'll be like that for a while and then they'll adjust. So anyways, I want to thank my wife, first of all,
for uh, being out here with me. She put her first tag in uh, bison today in the calf, and so I was exciting to see her do that, and I made her do it again. So, um, yeah, so I appreciate her, and it's a lot of work and to just get prepared for this, and, you know, weeks and months in advance, I'm very busy up to the, you know, up to the last minute of working those bison, and um, so it takes a lot of time working uh, working out here and uh, you got baby Brooks. So thank her. Thank Kevin. He's always uh, he, He's got so much experience and he spends a lot of time with the bison as well um, It's it's nice to have Him around and I want to thank him Cole uh, buddy filming and uh, Helping actually get everything set up Chandler uh, Does a lot of video videography for me. So a lot of footage you see is from Cole and from Chandler uh, they were here last year when we worked them in the spring or this past spring. So I want to thank them. I want to thank their wives for putting up and hanging out while this craziness is going on. And and uh, and Brandon, I want to thank my brother, Brandon. This is his first time to come out here and work the bison. Um, we've we've brought him out here and showed him around and stuff. But uh, he's a uh, he just jumped right in there and I knew he would and um, so we put him on the tub which was interesting because it was the first time we'd really used it with uh, working all the bison so he did great he's a, the strongest guy out here so <laughs> that's why I put him there is to pull that tub around so someone else I need to thank is uh, Daniel from Arms Family Homestead my brother-in-law I need to thank him he, he he has been here every time we've worked the bison. His experience, uh, I can just trust him and let him let him go and, and do it. Plus, he's filming as well. So um, his hands are full too as he's filming and working. But he's been around these animals quite a bit. And he comes over and sees them. And I want to thank him for his help as well. Just getting all this done and and uh, being patient with me for sure. And I don't know that's part of it when you're when you're uh, dealing with me. <laughs> Got a couple of adjustments to make on some stuff, uh, but nothing major. Uh, the tub worked great and, and uh, it, it worked out. It, it made things transition better once we got them in the tub. It's just getting them in the tub that we're gonna have to work on. So that's just part of working bison is, is when you work them, you learn something every time. So anyways, hopefully we can get docked when we do the spring vaccinations and we can do some preg checks too as well. So thank you guys for watching. A lot of prep work getting up to this point and then um, actually going through it. So, uh, but it's something we gotta do. You guys know that I talk about how important it is uh, to, do, to do this, to work our bison. But uh, something else is we got our calves separated and they're gonna start the weaning process. So these mamas will be up here running these fences quite a bit. The calves will be running the fences. We put the calves in a, um, tougher pinned area um, where there's, it's piped up with our continuous panels and whatnot so if you like the video leave us some comments below on what you think and how everything what you thought about the video and us working them guys and what you thought about the new tub thank you Put him right back in there until we do something else with him.